So I'm here with the fabulous Karen Cummings Palmer, founder and creative brain behind 79 Lux. Welcome Karen and thank you for taking the time. Well, thank you Denise, so lovely to see you as ever. And you. Karen, I'm super excited about this. I, as you know, I love 79 Lux. Thank you. And I thought the first thing we should do is congratulate you on your Beauty shortlist win. Thank you very much. Thank you. How does that feel? It's great. I mean, obviously, it's so wonderful to to be um, to be endorsed by the community and by the by the beauty business. Mm -hmm. um, it was obviously very early days when I entered, and to be honest, I kind of just didn't really talk about it. I just sort of forgot about it. Uh -huh. So when I woke up on uh, March the first and saw that it had won Best Body Balm 2019, I was absolutely delighted. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And has that given you um, renewed confidence? Um, it's. I would say that I feel really. I feel really flattered. Um, I feel really touched mm -hmm. and humbled by it, mm -hmm. um, because you know the judges know their stuff. This is this this is a tough award to win. Yes. Um, but I, you know, I, I felt very confident about the product. Yeah. I, I really wanted it to do what it said on the bottle mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's just it's just a great way to, to really start off the life of 79 months fantastic right Karen as you know I absolutely adore guys I adore 79 months and I have to say if you haven't tried it yet you really have to go, go and get some and try it um, what I want to know is what is your why why did you create this fabulous body balm um, well, so as you know, I spend a lot of my time talking about health and beauty. Yes. Um, nutrition is my key core, is my key tool. Yes. And there are frankly amazing products out there that support the skin. Yes. And beauty in general from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So I have amazing supplements that I work with. There are also loads of great uh, products for the face. Yeah. But I actually couldn't find anything that I really could highly recommend for my rather discerning, demanding clients, <laughs> yes. and indeed for myself. So, you know, I was born with really bad eczema, um, and I still have very dry skin and the occasional eczema flare-up. And so I felt like I personally yeah. got so much experience with um, body skin care. Um, but I, I just couldn't find anything that ticked every single one of my boxes. Yes. Um, so I wanted it to be really rich but not really greasy. Yeah. I wanted it to smell lovely but for the smell not to be so overwhelming you couldn't put your perfume right on top sure. of it. Yeah. I wanted it to be very natural, largely organic. Yeah. Um, and really, you know, I think of it as, as, as a recipe. It's like more nourishment for the skin mm -hmm. from the outside in. Mm -hmm. But I also frankly wanted it to look nice, be in, in nice chic packaging. Yeah. Um, so, couldn't find anything, so I created it myself. Fantastic, love it. Karen, my next question is, you've got a range of amazing ingredients in here. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is good old shea butter, but you've also got lactic acid. Yeah. Which we know is a sort of anti, antioxidant. Cellular turnover. Yeah. Really helps get the skin nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Only a small amount, so it's very well tolerated by sensitive, you know, all but the very, very ultra sensitive skin types. Sure. Um, so that's why I put the lactic acid in. Okay. And then you've got zinc. Um, zinc is a natural SPF and it's also a healer and an anti inflammatory. Okay. And then the rose quartz, that, that had me missed. I was like, okay, rose quartz oil. So oh, interesting. Yeah, so that was really, I mean, I love rose quartz. Yes, me too. Um, I find it aesthetically really pleasing. I find it energetically beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it's really about self-love and self-care. So what I found, and a lot of people have said this, which is wonderful to hear, is not only does it feel good sort of on a physical level, just sort of putting it on and having a ritual of really taking care of your skin, but it somehow kind of makes people feel good and makes people feel really, really nourished in a very holistic way, and that's mm. the rose quartz one. That's wonderful. And last but not least, you've also got um, a touch of gold. Yes. Now, I, yes. Love, I love gold. <laughs> yes, as, as do as I. Do, oh yeah. <laughs> so, talk to us about this, the gold. So, I mean, gold is, I love gold yes. as a colour. Um, um, but, I, you know that 
kind of shimmery thing you, you get with a lot of products. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what I did want is a sort of luminosity, yes. that sort of lit from within quality to the skin. Right. So that's where the gold comes in. Um, but it's also powerful anti-inflammatory and it can also help with collagen production. Right. So it does it does a couple of things, both you know um, cosmetically and, and also really improving the skin over time. So, Karen, interestingly, and obviously you've noticed this yourself, there's not actually that much in, in, the, in the realms of body care around. Um, why is that? Um, yeah, why is that? Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, I'd love to say I'm so clever, <laughs> but I actually, uh, what, I think it's just an idea whose time has just come. Yes. Um, so, you know, people are now getting very used to, you know, spending time and investing in their, their facial skin care. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think I'm probably perhaps the first generation of women that typically look you know, roughly the same size as they were maybe in their, I'm in my late 40s, so you know, roughly the same sort of size as they were in their, in their 30s, probably work out, understand about nutrition. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we want to wear short skirts still mm. sometimes mm. and want to wear dresses with straps mm. but i remember my mother's generation of women you know they would cover up their arms mm. by the time they were 45. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i think that it's really just you know we're just starting to think about the skincare on our body and what i wanted to do is create really serious game-changing skincare for the body with ingredients of really great quality ingredients in quantities that count yeah I mean, what I love about 79 Lux is the fact, I, honestly, I should just buy shares in the company. <laughs> so I, I love so much about this brand. But what I love about it is that, as you said earlier on, it gives you really beautiful um, moisturization and nourishment without leaving your skin greasy. So you can put whatever you want to put on and it doesn't yes. leave any marks. Yes. Um, the other thing I love about it is that the effects last pretty much all day. Yes. So if I put this on my arms, or I put it on my legs, notorious, my notoriously dry legs, yes. especially the lower yes. legs, um, and put my opaques on, yes. that's always the test for me. <laughs> um, guaranteed at the end of the day when the opaques come off, I'm like, wow, my skin still looks like it's been loved. Yes. So that's fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, I mean, you know, my skin's very dry. So, you know, and I was putting stuff on my, on my skin and it didn't sort of really occur to me, why isn't it improving over time? Um, and so, you know, I put the sort of quality of ingredients in this product mm -hmm. means that not only does it instantly look and feel great, but the skin actually improves over the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, you'll notice smooth skin, a little bit of discoloration starts being diminished, mm -hmm. and you'll need less and less of it as time, rather than more and more of it. Why? Well, time goes by. And your packaging. It is. It's very. It's very. I love it. It's perfect on my dressing table. I'm one of those Should. sadly shallow people that likes things to look pretty and to look attractive. So amongst my perfume bottles and my other bits and bobs, this looks fantastic. Good. Black, white, and gold. Love the fact that something that line up is written in gold. Um, why did you choose these colours? Well, I mean. I have to admit, I just think they're terribly chic. <laughs> um, so I, you know, I'm a real believer in putting yourself in the way of beauty. I don't think it's superficial at all. I think it's nourishing, and it's not just stuff. It's you know, looking up at the sky. It's sort of looking at nature, mm -hmm. and and with something that you're passing every day, either in your bedroom or your bathroom, I just think, why shouldn't it be beautiful? Mm -hmm. But um, I, when I was developing the product, I found that. Um, uh, biophotonic glass, which is what this is. It's actually black violet. It looks black, but actually if you have it in the light, so you can see that it's actually violet, um, is quite simply the best way of protecting the precious ingredients. Right. And it allowed me to use a very small amount of preservative. Every product on the shelf has preservative in it. Sure. But I was able to use the smallest amount possible. Okay. Um, and it also gives very natural and, and, and really hard-working precious ingredients um, a decent shelf life and it, it, it maintains their efficacy. So it happened to be the best packaging for the product. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was also delighted that I think it looks chic as well. Yeah. And, and the gold is because um, it was inspired by the name. 
So 79 is the atomic number for gold. Ah. So of course okay. it has to be gold. Okay, of course it is. My last question for you, Karen, is yes. a little bit about um, how important was it for you when formulating this for it to be organic? Mm -hmm. The organic, it's such an interesting conversation, isn't it? I learned a lot, actually. I didn't know, for example, that anyone can stick organic on a product as long yes. as it has one ingredient that's organic. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, for example, that to be certified organic, it only needed to be 25% of the plant-based ingredients. And one of the reasons I didn't lead with organic is because I think that, you know, lots of consumers are really confused. If it says organic, they just think it's 100% organic. And my product isn't 100% organic either. Um, but 96% of the plant-based ingredients are organic. Yeah. So for me, it's just about, um, I don't think organic is necessarily always best. I just think that any responsible producer mm -hmm. should be using organic where possible, mm -hmm. should be sure. using natural where possible. Yeah. Um, it's just about consciousness and it's about transparency. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, it was about the best ingredients with the, with the best efficacy. Mm -hmm. And if I could find them organic, which is a little harder, a little more expensive, sure. um, then I absolutely should. Yeah. So that was my approach. Wonderful. So Karen, where can our followers get hold of 79 Lux? So um, if people go to 79lux.com, yes. all the information about the balm and stockists are there. Um, it's in a couple of my um, favourite spas. So it's in Booty in Richmond, a fabulous eco spa in Richmond. It's in the Rosewood Hotel here in central London, Fantastic. spa. Yeah. And it launched officially on Colt Beauty oh. uh, in January and it ships all over the world. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So Karen, can I be cheeky and ask you what, <laughs> what's next on your list of creative? Well, you know, I'm, first of all, it's only skincare for the body. Okay. Um, because... I've got a list in case you need any tips. <laughs> Um, so I, so I, what I really decided was I was only going to create something if I really felt like there was a gap in the market. Okay. Um, I'm not interested in just having another product for the for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, but I have got a couple of ideas okay. in development at the okay. moment oh. where I just feel that we could take you know something to the next level. Mm. So I will keep you posted. You'll be the first to know to these. Oh. Watch this space. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. It's been lovely talking to you. Absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Guys, go and try it. <laughs>